All right, so today's question comes from an Airbnb owner whose place was just trashed by a guest. And she was in tears. She sent me photos. She was just really upset. And she wants to hire a professional house cleaner to come in and help her reset the place. The guests that came in dumped everything upside down. They dumped over plants. They dumped over lamps. They broke the bed. They tore the curtains down. I'm not sure why you would do that, but they tore the curtains down. It looks like there was a great big fight of some sort. There were things that were broken and crashed and smashed all over the place. And they had a food fight in the kitchen. So there's food everywhere in the kitchen. And it was all over the walls and on the backsplash behind the stove. And it slid behind the stove. There's stuff all over, food that's mashed into the carpets. She's just devastated. And because she keeps her prices so low, She's done all of her own cleaning up to this point. Now she's ready to hire a professional cleaner to come in and help her reset her house for her next guests. And she was in a state of panic because she has guests coming in almost immediately. So she wanted to know how quickly can I screen a professional house cleaner to make sure that I'm hiring somebody that I can count on. All right, so that is the question and that's the backstory behind it. And there's a real challenge right here because as an Airbnb host, you are in a state of panic. Everything that you own and you're responsible for and you take pride in has just been trashed and is destroyed. And so there's this panic mode because you have to reset everything for the next guests that are coming in because this is your livelihood. I understand this is an emergency situation. When you have an emergency and you call a house cleaner, because it's an emergency, they're probably going to charge you top dollar for last minute cleaning if they can fit you in. And so that's something that you need to help them understand like, hey, this is not on my radar. This is not something that I've ever even considered before, but I'm considering it right now because I need some extra help. So what you're looking for is an extra set of hands. The next thing that you need to be aware of is because you're already in a state of panic, that does not allow or accept another state of panic, which is hiring someone in a hurry. Now, this might cause for some alarm, but I'm going to suggest that you slow down. And right now, instead of just randomly cleaning everything up and trying to reset it, you need to take pictures, both for the Airbnb site, because you're going to have, probably have to have some cancellations if you need a new bed and you need new curtains and all these things. You're not going to be able to accommodate these next few guests. So I'm sorry to say that it's, you're going to need to cancel on some folks. The next thing is you're going to need the pictures for insurance purposes. It sounds like there was a lot of damage. And from what I saw, it looks probably like a big insurance claim. So I would recommend that you just slow down for just a second, take pictures of everything, document all of the items that you had, because those will all need to be replaced. And you'll need new furniture. You'll need a new bed. You'll need new drapes, all these kinds of things. So I would recommend that don't panic and don't panic rushing into hiring a house cleaner. Now, if you do hire a house cleaner and I say don't rush, you have a little bit of time because you're going to have to clear some things up as you document. You'll give the house cleaner a couple of days in order for them to go ahead and put you on their schedule. So it's not emergency. The next thing that I recommend is that you do a thorough interview with the person that you're about to hire. There are lots of house cleaning companies out there and there's no standard in the industry. So there are house cleaners that are spectacular at what they do. And then there are some that are super sloppy and they give house cleaners a bad name. So I would recommend that you do your due diligence and you find somebody that's really good that has already done background checks on all of their employees, that has drug checks on their employees, and somebody that is bonded, licensed, and insured. Now, licensing is not such a big deal in some areas, but the bonding and insurance is mandatory because if something happens in your home, you don't want to get a lawsuit on top of that, that they tripped and fell and got hurt or whatever while they were cleaning up your place. So you want to make sure that they are insured as well and that they are covered. And I would recommend that you get somebody as a partner, as an industry partner, because while this happened, and I'm guessing this is the first time this happened where somebody trashed your place, it is possible it could happen again. And I don't wish that on you. I don't wish it on anybody but it is possible. And so you may need to call on this house cleaner at a later date. And so if you build a relationship right now where you have a house cleaner that you can call on in situations like this, or if you happen to be out of town on vacation and you have a quick turnover, that you can have that same house cleaner come in. 
And so you're not counting at the last minute to find a new house cleaner each time. You want to bring on somebody that you have in your back pocket, that you have a good relationship with, that you get along well with. They've already been screened. You have now met them. They've met you. They've cleaned your house a couple of times. You want to build this ongoing relationship with the same house cleaner because there are a lot of house cleaners that do have cancellations. And so from time to time, they're scrambling looking for more business. Or from time to time, they'll grow and expand their own business and they have too much work for one person and not quite enough work for another person. And so they may call you and say, hey, do you need any help? And this might just be a week where you're sitting down to do something fun and you say, I don't want to clean this week. Yeah, I will just hire you for this week. So it might just be intermittent cleanings that you hire them for. But my suggestion is that you don't do it quickly. When you choose a house cleaner, this is not a random fly by the seat of your pants decision. You are bringing a stranger into your home. And with the Airbnb industry, this is your business. So you're not just bringing them into your home, but you're bringing them into your business. And so they're going to need to do all the extras, resetting the place, getting all the nice little trinkets ready for your guests, making sure that this is going to generate you a five-star rating and review. And so to just come in and to clean everything up that's all broken and damaged and trashed, that's one thing. But to have an industry partner that understands your needs, that is something completely different. So I don't recommend that you rush into this because you are in a state of panic. I feel so bad for you. It's hateful that customers would come in and trash a place that just shows no respect for humanity. I don't know why people would do that. And I guess there are people like that. So I'm very sorry. But what I do recommend is that you just stop for a second, kind of freeze time, look at all of your options, and then make decisions as a business owner, not in a state of panic. I got to do this immediately. You've got to do it quickly, but you don't have to do it immediately. Because if you're going out to reimburse all the stuff that was replaced or that needs to be replaced, you might be waiting for an insurance check. And maybe that's something that you will replace and then wait for a reimbursement. I don't know. But during that process of things happening, that's when you want to do an interview. And you may want to interview three, four, five people. Because like I said, this is your most valuable asset and it is your business. So again, I'm really sorry this happened. But I do recommend that you just slow it down, take a deep breath, give yourself a big hug, and then treat this like a business transaction, not something just off the seat of your pants and in a panic. 